Hey guys, Spartan117GW here today, and in the spirit of E3, because I will be there this year, I want to talk about, first, Battlefield 5. New weapons, new maps, whole new theater. Starting off with the whole new theater, because that's kind of the biggest, biggest news. We are getting the Pacific Theater, and the people at EA Play very, very strongly hinted at that the chance that we're probably going to get Wake Island, uh, which is going to be really, really cool. Um, and, uh, obviously we're getting Iwo Jima, Mount Suribachi, I mean, you got the Imperial Soldier there waving his hands, and then he gets butt-stroked in the face by a Marine, um, with an M1 Grand, no less, so super excited that that weapon is going to be making its way into the game, and speaking of Pacific Theater, like, I am just hoping we're getting Peleliu, um, um, Guadalcanal, all that stuff, that would be fantastic maps, for Battlefield 5, which I think will kind of revitalize the the game a little bit because that's the content people are fans of. That's the those are the theaters people know. And I know they wanted to do the more obscure theaters or battles, but people are fans of the other major battles. And I think they could have had their cake and eat it too if they switched things around, gave people, you know, Normandy, Wake Island, Iwo Jima, all that stuff first and then, you know, added the more obscure stuff later. But you know, hindsight is, you know, hindsight. So, they also have a couple new weapons. They've got the bazooka, which is cool. They have the um, M1 Grand, obviously. New versions of the carbine. So, there's going to be a bunch of new content in the game, not just the maps itself. And the maps do look great. And i got to say, watching those trailers, it basically sounds like Battlefield ASMR, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, the sound design is always fantastic. Whoever cuts that stuff is just a genius. Now, the next big news, on top of the Pacific Theater and on top of the new Mediterranean maps, we are also getting a new version of, essentially, Operation Metro called Operation Underground. And the developers said they're going to change things a little bit, so whether it's pathways or just slight little changes to the structure and the flow of the map they're going to try to keep it fresh and it'll be cool to see what that combat's like with the take with the world war ii weapons because we all know that it is an insane frag fest very very brutal with modern day weapons so battlefield looks like it's kind of turning over a new leaf much like battlefront is so i'm really hoping that this helps do the trick and kind of gets more people back in the battlefield but also gets battlefield going back in the direction of hey give the fans what they want because ultimately that's what matters so we're going to be covering more game content this week and next week because of e3 so we'll see you guys here on the channel and on off duty gamers thank you guys for watching see you guys next time